So we are here at the Grand Destino Tower for dinner at Toledo. Toledo. Not Toledo. Not Toledo. Toledo. Ohio. Toledo. Right. Come on with us. The Grand Destino Tower in Coronado Springs. Yes. What he said. Yes. Toledo and look at this awesome what do you guys think of it? It's a great view. view. By the window. This is our table right by the window. Galaxy's Edge right there. Galaxy's Edge off in the distance. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice view. Yeah. So here's the menu for Toledo. We have tapas and these are let you flip. That's a good idea. Let's pick it up. Take a look here. So these are the small plates. And here's some other things you can Classic dishes, read through those. These are probably Spanish. yeah. Larger, larger appetizers to share. And these are house boards also. Mm-hmm. And those are also shareable. So those are the appetizers. Down here beverages. are the beverages. Okay. Specialty cocktails. Yep. Some other cocktails there you can see. Beer and hard cider. Look how the table is up on the window. Draft and bottles. And here are some uh, mocktails. And drink. And, uh, zero proof cocktails, yep. Okay, and then finally over here on this side food. is the food. <laughs> so we have it's divided up into three sections. So more appetizers. Some, more appetizers. Entrees. Entrees. And these are nice and easy to to read and understand actually what they are. <laughs> so here looks like you get the sides separate, I'm thinking. So it's all a cart. Right, it's all a cart sides. And then here are some desserts. desserts. That's it. And that's it. That's all you have. All right, so we're going to decide what we want. So I think I'm going to try, I want to try that octopus. Okay. All right, so, so far, two positives. Three positives. Three. All right, what were they? The waiter, he's been great. Very, yeah. very Attentive. knowledgeable yes. on the food and the drink. Yes. The water is not swampy Florida water. Yes. It's filtered. And... Three, the view that the we view, have. Yeah. I showed right the view. The, the non-swampy water is a good thing. Yes. All right, so this is the Grand Gin Tonic. And what did you get, Jeff? This is the Espumosa Punch. Espumosa Punch. What is yours, Brian? Uh, the Manzana Fizz. Manzana Fizz. Okay, and then gin. What is yours? Sangria Tinto. Sangria. Okay. Looks good. All right. We're all going to dig in. I think that's what we're All right, saying. so the verdict is this Grand Destino, what's it called again? Grand Drink? Grand Gin Tonic. The Grand Gin Tonic. The verdict is it is delicious. What do you think of your sangria, Jen? Just the normal sangria? It's, yeah, it's very good. It's, it's has good. like a little bit of orange. Yeah, orange. flavor too. It's good. Yeah, how about Brian? Yours has egg whites in it. We just figured that out. Pasteurized egg whites. Yeah. Is that it's adding anything to it or not really? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it tastes fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Jeff? What do you think of I yours? Would, I would get another one of those. Yeah. Would you? Yes. yes. It tastes like Hawaiian punch almost. Yes. We're loving the drinks, y'all. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is the Spanish potato pancake, right? And this, this is the here. yeah, and then the tomato bread. The bread and the uh, tomato puree that goes with it. So it's really good. I'll let you know what we think. So this is the charred octopus on a bed of lentils, and then here's the bread that goes with it. So we're gonna see what we think. We're gonna be cool. All right. So we got the churros and the heirloom tomato salad. So the verdict on the octopus: you weren't too wild about it. It doesn't really have a flavor. Okay, I, I liked it. it. Yeah, the other things add to it, right? Yeah, it's Thanks. just it's just chewy. It doesn't really yeah. taste like anything. What did you think, Brian? Did you like it? 
I mean, it's not bad. I thought it was fine, but of the things that we've tried so far, I thought the Spanish potato pancake was better than this um, tomato. The tomato puree or the tomato, tomato puree bread? The bread is very good. Yeah, did you like that, Jen? The tomato yeah, bread? The bread is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Tomatoes, Made up your garlic, all of yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. So you thought the lentils were a little spicy, though, I right? I thought they were a little spicy, but I think everything is spicy. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. To the normal person, it's probably not spicy at all. Right. I thought they were good. So, all right. Let's see what what we think of the rest of the appetizers. So I can't remember. What we already talked about. Did we talk about the churros? We didn't talk about the churros. Not a fan. Okay. Not a fan. What did you guys think? They were okay? Yeah, not a big fan. I don't know that I would get those over. The other things that we had, yeah. I think that was my least favorite. Yeah, I agree. That tomato bread was really good. Tomato yeah, bread was tomato good. Tomato puree with the bread was awesome. What a, I'm the heirloom to tomatoes yeah. were really great. They had a really nice vinaigrette on there. They had a balsamic kind of puree on the side. Yeah. Some really good fresh cheese. Yeah. I'll get that again for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we have the pork chop. Pork chop. The potatoes. Hanger steak with mashed potatoes, which looks really good. I'm going to go to mine first, which is the scallops. So we have four scallops, it looks like. And Jen over here with the chicken. chicken. And would you look at that? That's like a whole chicken right there. Are those potato chips or plantains on top? I think they're potato chips. Wow. Like. And it looks like rice and underneath. Rice underneath. Yes. That looks Really good. I think it's enough food for two people. Yes. Alright. See. Alright, quick verdict. Pork chops. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Season good. Season well, yep. Big portion. My scallops were good. I got four scallops. Not too bad, but definitely not as shareable as some of the other things. Brian, how was your steak? Hanger steak is very good, very tender, very yeah. flavorful. And then the mashed potatoes with the mentega cheese are excellent. Yeah, so you swap that out because it normally comes with potatoes. Correct. Right, so right. He, he made a substitution to get the yeah. mashed potatoes instead of the yeah. other potatoes. Yeah, okay. So then we got a side of the, what were those potatoes called? I can't remember, but they were under the potato sides. I'll put I'll put the name in to the video. And then we got broccoli, which doesn't look like broccoli. It more it looks more like broccoli rob maybe. So and then Jen with her chicken. The chicken was big enough for two people easily. Yes, we I could had a share that. Bit of help already, and we'll probably take some back. Yeah. Rice so was that's good. definitely oh, the pork shareable. Pork chop was really good. I tasted that very tender. Sometimes you get pork chops out and they're kind of dry. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. So chicken's definitely shareable. Steak, not as much. Pork chop, I'd say, shareable. would be shareable yes. if you get appetizers. And then the scallops, not as shareable. But everything's very good. So we are going to do dessert. And I think we are going to do the... So we are going to do the dessert. And I think we're going to do the... What does that say, Jeff? Toledo, Toledo Tapas Bar. And the classic crema Catalina. Catalina. Catalana. Catalana. Okay. All right. We're gonna give those a try. Okay. So here is our crema, and it looks like a creme brulee a little bit. And then that is the progressive chocolate mm -hmm. tapas bar. Not not tapas bar. What was it? Yeah. Tapas bar. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. And it goes lighter to lighter darker. To dark. Okay, so we'll let you know what we think. You're an okay. <laughs> All right, so we finished our desserts and everything was good, but Jeff's cracking up. Everybody's laughing because this creme brulee stuff, it's not really creme brulee, but I took a bite of it and I said what? It reminded me of the taste of the bathroom. Like the Grand Floridian bathroom, bathroom to be so. specific. The bathroom smell. Well, you would so, imagine the soap would taste like if you ate it. The smell in the Grand Floridian bathroom is what yes, that tastes like. That's what that tastes like. There's a weird like flavor to it. It was good. We, <laughs> well, we ate, ate it. it. <laughs> and this was actually a piece of this was a Parmesan crisp covered in chocolate. Which I, I ate that anyway, or part of it. It wasn't yeah, too bad. It was good. Not, it was okay. not flavors you think about putting together, different. but it tasted fine. So this it was the chocolate covered Parmesan crisp with the Grand Floridian bathroom. 
that was good too, this is right? Really good. That was really good. So progressive, everyone liked the bar. Progressive tapas bar was good. Yeah. I think yeah. We all think this is the better of the two, right? Yes, I would, I would definitely yeah. get this again. So maybe on that one. <laughs> if I had a few yes. more drinks, maybe I'd get that one again. <laughs> yeah, but it definitely. If you all try it, you'll have to put a comment. And let us know what you think. If it reminds you of the of a bathroom. Grand Floridian bathroom. Specifically the Grand Floridian. Specifically the Grand Floridian. Grand Floridian. Okay. All right. We did like it though. We, we ate it anyway. Yes. But yes. Dinner. Very, I thought it was, it was very good. good. Yeah. It is very expensive. We yeah. ordered way too much food. Yeah, it was way too much food. So yeah. you can share some things. Um, I would suggest sharing, yes. Yeah. But our bill was between the four of us, what was it? 260 Well, something? ours was ended up being like 150 something because we split it in half. Right. But we did have yeah. drinks. Right. Between the four of us, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. So. I would suggest coming here, give it a try. Everything right. we had was really good, except I wouldn't recommend the churros. Right. That wasn't my favorite. Mm-hmm. What about you? Yeah. I'd say I wouldn't get the churros again. Yeah. But, and then we talked about the dessert a little bit. I know it seemed kind of funny, but it did have like a really weird flavor, that, that creme brulee type thing. Uh, as soon as I tasted it, I thought, wow, that tastes like what the Grand Floridian bathrooms smell like. Smell like, like yeah. So... And if you don't believe me, <laughs> go over to the Grand Floridian, go in the bathroom, and come over here. And try and the dessert. The dessert. So. <laughs> See what you but think. But all in all, so. would come back. It was a good I experience. I would definitely come back yep. here, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful hotel. So, um, yeah. It was very crowded, yep. so I, I suggest making a reservation. Yep. So, well, thanks for watching, everyone. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate it. And um, we will talk to you soon.